Okay, so to see a patient, we want to make sure we put our barriers on. We've got an entree with our basic set and our patient napkin and goggles here. So when you are ready to bring your patient, you want to make sure that there's a clear path for your patient to come in. Your doctor chair is out of the way, your assistant chair is out of the way, the rheostat is out of the way. Make sure there's nothing that they're going to trip on when they come in. Okay? We also want to make sure that the chair is down low enough for our patient. We don't want them to have to climb up into the chair and we don't want it down on the ground where they have to plop down. Okay? So once our room is ready, light is out of the way, convenient for our patient to come in and sit down, then we're gonna go get our patient. So the chart should be here, a little slot. And my patient's name is Natalie Fernando. So I'm gonna go to my waiting area. Hi Natalie, come on back. How are you doing today? Good. Good. It's kind of cold out today, huh? I'm gonna let you have a seat right here, honey. Good. Swing your legs over. Perfect. Alrighty. So today we're just gonna do an exam, okay? Anything hurting you today at all? Or? Uh, no. No? Alright, sounds good. And welcome to our office. This is your first time? Yes, my first time. Great, great. We like to have new patients come in. And you live in the area? Yeah, we're like five minutes away. Oh, that's nice. So what are you up to? Just, you know, going to school. School? Oh, good. What are you going to school for? Uh, dental assisting. Nice. Yes. Great. Alrighty. I'm going to have you put these goggles on for me, if you would. Great. Alright. Looks good. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and lay you back, okay? Okay. Just rest your head back for me. And so we want to recline our patient. for our doctor to be able to come in and start her exam. So you want to turn your light on and you want the light just on the patient's chest. So once my doctor comes in and sits down, she can actually tilt the light where she wants it. So now when we talk about patient position, we want to make sure that if the patient is having a restoration or something done and they're going to be having that restoration done on the upper arch or the maxillary arch, we want them to be in the subsupine position. So that means that their head is lower than their feet. Okay? If we're having a mandibular restoration done, then we can bring them in the supine position. Okay? All right, then we'll get our light on where we're going. Obviously, she would have her mask and everything off, but we're not going that far. So after the procedure, after the doctor has left, the first thing you want to do is move the light. Okay, get that out of the way, off and out of the way, so that when I bring her up, she doesn't hit her head on there. All right, Natalie, you're all done. How are you doing, okay? Feeling good? All right, I'm gonna bring you up slowly, okay? Good. All right, I'm gonna get this off of you here, and I'll go ahead and let you place those glasses right here on the tray for me. All right, bring you down here. All right, you go ahead and sling your legs over here and I'm gonna go ahead and walk you out, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Come on down. We'll see you next time, okay? Bye. Okay, bye.